Congratulations on your purchase of the Breadman Plus. Now you can have fresh baked bread in your own home anytime without the fuss and mess of traditional baking methods. Simply measure the ingredients, place them in the pan, and let the Breadman Plus do all the work. The Breadman Plus will mix, knead, rise, and bake your bread. Because it's pre-programmable, the Breadman Plus will also bake bread while you sleep or work, so you can have warm, fresh, healthy bread ready when you want it anytime. At first, you may be surprised by the satisfying flavor of these healthy breads, especially if you're not accustomed to eating whole grain foods. They taste so rich and delicious, you'll think you've discovered a new food. In fact, you'll find many of the so-called health breads at the supermarket aren't all that healthy. Sugar and shortening have often been added to enhance the flavor. And for many of these breads to claim any food value at all, the flour has been enriched with as few as four of the 26 essential nutrients stripped from the grain during the milling process. When you read labels of mass-produced bread, you will also see that most bread flours are enriched with niacin, iron, thiamine, and riboflavin. The organic whole grain flours used in natural whole grain mixes and recipes have all the vitamins, minerals, and fiber just as nature provided. The Breadman Plus has been designed with special thought to the health conscious. It allows you to make whole grain natural breads that are high in complex carbohydrates, proteins, and fiber without unwanted preservatives, pesticide residues, bleached flour, animal fats, or other additives found in mass-produced breads. With home-baked bread, you control the ingredients to suit your taste and the personal dietary needs of you and your family. In fact, with the Breadman Plus Bread Baker, not only will you feel good about the great food you are feeding your family, you will never need to buy store-bought bread again. The Breadman Plus is loaded with features, including three loaf settings, one, one and a half, and two pounds, seven bread settings and dough only, incredibly simple operations, a delayed finish function, additional ingredient signal, auto keep warm, and a large glass window for viewing. Now let's take a closer look at your new Breadman Plus. The Breadman Plus has four major parts. The lid with steam vent and glass window. The baking pan, pan handle and kneading blade. The inner case with heating element. The control panel with touch pads that give you total control of the baking process in a simple, straightforward way. Also, please note the instruction manual and save it for future reference. It has many tips and more detailed instructions. Pay special attention to the important safeguards and safety tips found on pages 2 and 3. One popular way to use your Breadman Plus at home is to use a bread machine bread mix available at your local grocery store. These mixes are formulated specifically for use in automatic bread makers. They come in a variety of whole wheat, multigrain, and other specialties. Be sure the mix is for a one, one and a half, or two pound loaf. For this machine, the total amount of flour used must not exceed four and a half cups. Read the instructions carefully, and if there is a bread maker brand chart on the box, follow the line for the Breadman or Breadman Plus. Let's show you how easy it is to bake bread. First, open the lid and remove the bread pan. Rinse it thoroughly before your first use. Place the kneading blade into the bottom of the baking pan and firmly fit it on the drive shaft. When baking with one of these mixes, measuring the correct amount of water is critical. Use a measuring cup that is accurate and you trust. Measure out the correct amount of water and pour it into the baking pan. Now, open the large ingredient package and gently pour it on top. Remember, always put your wet ingredients in the pan first the yeast always goes in last. Using your finger, make an indentation into the flour mix. Open the small yeast packet and carefully pour the contents into this pocket. This is especially important if you were to use the delayed baking feature. The yeast must not touch the water because early activation will give unsatisfactory results. Place the baking pan back into the inner casing, noting the indication of the front marks on the lip of the baking pan. Firmly place it into the casing until it snaps down into place. Now close the lid. Don't open the lid during the baking process. The lid is like an oven door. If you open it during baking, you will affect the baking temperature and your bread may not turn out as you'd like. If you would like to check the progress of the bread, look through the window. Don't touch the casing because it becomes hot. By the way, the window will fog up early in the rising baking process. This will dissipate as the baking continues. On the control panel, you'll find the select pad. 
Press the pad until the number in the display corresponds with the type of bread mix and the desired crust color and size of loaf you are preparing. Now press Start. The display will tell you how much time there is left until the bread is done, counting down every 60 seconds. That's it. In just a few hours, you'll have delicious, fresh, home-baked bread. When the Breadman Plus is finished baking, it will chime three times. Remove the loaf pan using a good pair of oven mitts. Open the lid and lift the baking pan out using the handle. Slide the loaf out onto a cooling rack. If you place the loaf directly on a flat, unventilated surface, the crust will sweat and become soggy. If you forget to remove the bread right away, don't worry. There is an automatic one-hour warming cycle which gradually cools the bread down. Check the baking pan for the kneading blade. If it is missing, it is in the bottom of the loaf. When the bread is cooled, remove it carefully with a plastic tong or wooden spoon. Never use metal on the blade or the baking pan. This is the non-stick surface and can be damaged by metal utensils. After the bread has cooled about 20 minutes, it is ready for slicing. For clean slices, it is best to use a bread knife with a long serrated cutting edge. Baking bread from scratch is one of the most rewarding cooking experiences. Working the dough, the aroma of the baking hearth have always been part of human life. With today's hectic lifestyles and the Breadman Plus, baking bread has become easy enough to do every day. Baking bread is an acquired skill. The subtleties of different grains and yeasts, your altitude and the temperature and humidity of the day all have small effects on the final product. Some recipes are harder to master. But with time and practice, anyone can make even the most specialized of breads successfully. In this section, we will focus on a bread that requires little baking skill, yet is healthful and tastes great. We will be making an extra large two pound loaf of honey whole wheat. It is best to lay out all your ingredients in front of you before you start to assemble them. You'll need one and a half cups of water, four and a quarter cups of 100% whole wheat flour, two teaspoons of sea salt, one half cup honey, one and one half tablespoons dry milk or whey, two tablespoons of shortening or oil, and one and three fourths teaspoons of active yeast. Remove the baking pan and make sure the kneading blade is in place. Carefully measure out the water and pour it into the baking pan. The water should be about 80 degrees and the rest of the ingredients should be room temperature. Add one half cup of honey, scraping the cup out with a spatula. Now add the oil. Canola oil contains no saturated fat and is preferred for healthy breads. Next, using a measuring cup designed for measuring dry ingredients, measure out the flour by spooning it into a cup then leveling it with a knife. Scooping directly with the cup will overpack the flour. Pour the flour directly into the baking pan. Measure the sea salt and add it to the mixture. Add the dry milk or whey. Whey contains less fat and is a perfect substitute for the dry milk. If you can't find it, dry skim milk is next best. Now make an indentation in the top of the flour mixture and place your yeast there. Return the baking pan into the oven compartment and fit it into place. Close the lid, press the select pad until the number four appears, then press start. Now you're done. The Breadman Plus takes over. With less than 10 minutes of prep time and no big messes or cleanups, you'll have the best homemade bread you've ever baked. The Breadman Plus has a few additional features that make bread making in your own home more convenient and versatile than ever. Delayed finish feature, pre-programming. Dough only feature. Fruit and nut bread feature. Waking up to the aroma of fresh bread or cinnamon rolls in the morning used to be limited to holidays or special occasions. But the Breadman Plus has made it easy to wake up every day to fresh bread with its delay baking feature. You can prepare the ingredients in advance. Turn the machine on and the bread is ready when you want it, up to 12 hours in advance. Prepare your mix or scratch recipe as demonstrated earlier. Place the pan into the casing and close the lid. Select the proper setting for the bread you are making and then with the arrows indicating up and down, select the amount of time you would like to elapse between now and when you want the bread finished. If you would like bread at 8 a.m. tomorrow morning and it's 10.30 p.m., push the arrow until 9.30 appears. That's the time difference from 10.30 p.m. to 8 a.m. As you see, the time advances in 10-minute intervals. 
If you depress the button and hold it, the time will advance very quickly. The down arrow will help you adjust the time downward. Now press start, and at the pre-selected time, your bread will be finished. The Breadman Plus can also help you with other baking chores. Making rolls or braided breads is possible using the Breadman and a conventional oven. The Breadman Plus will mix, knead, and raise your dough and tell you when it's ready. To use the dough only feature, mix your recipe as we have talked about, then select the dough only setting. When the machine chimes that the dough is finished, remove the pan, then remove the dough from the pan. Form it into the desired shape and bake it in a conventional oven according to the recipe. Some recipes ask for the addition of fruit such as raisins or nuts for extra nutrition and flavor. If these ingredients are added too early during the mixing, they can break apart. So the Breadman Plus has a special setting for fruit, nut, and vegetable breads. Prepare the complete recipe omitting the fruit or nuts. Place the pan in the compartment and close the lid. Select the fruit and nut setting, then press start. When the dough is ready to take the additional ingredients, the machine will chime. At this time, add the extra ingredients by lifting the lid and pouring them in. Close the lid and the machine will automatically resume the kneading process. Cleanup is easy with the Breadman Plus. If needed, wipe out the baking pan with soapy water and a soft sponge. Again, never use scouring pads or metal utensils because they will ruin nonstick finishes. If you drip something on the unit itself or inside the baking chamber, let the machine cool completely. Make sure the machine is unplugged, then using a damp sponge, wipe the mess away. Well, there you have it. Healthy home bread making is now at your fingertips. We hope you enjoy years of this natural nutrition for you and your family. Using a broad selection of the finest recipe ingredients, you and the Breadman Plus are now in charge of your own healthy bakery. We hope this tape has been informative. I hope you use your bread man machine every day. I know if you'll focus in on the whole grain breads, you'll be healthier. I've given you today some of the tips that I've learned over my past 15 years of baking experience. I just want to finish by saying the best of health to you from the bread man. For more information about this machine or for replacement parts, just call 1-800-233-9054. Thank you.